this morning, there is bacteria everywhere. We know that, but a lot of it grows in shared spaces like the gym. Nine your side's Paula Suro did a little science experiment to see how your workout clothes can quickly become breeding grounds. A good workout could mean a smelly situation. The sweat will actually lower your pH um, on your skin, which a lot of times will inhibit bacterial growth. It helps as a first line of defense in your immune system. But just how much bacteria? We put it to the test swabbing this shirt worn at the gym a few hours earlier in areas likely to interact with equipment. The armpit area, the chest, back, and belly button region. Typically, your moisture wicking materials will be better suited for less bacterial growth. The thicker the cotton that hold on to that moisture just makes it more ideal for that bacteria to grow. After that swabbing that we just did, we're putting these dishes in this incubator where results take about 24 to 48 hours to show up. This is day one and day two. The chest and the back looks like they're doing a good job of cleaning their, their pads. A clinical medicine professor at UC says this doesn't show much because bacteria grows differently in each body part. Wet, moist places like under our arms or in our belly button have different kinds of germs than other surfaces of our skin and therefore looks different on these dishes. Some of them grow in a whole like swarm and others grow in little tiny colonies. So while you work out and clothes soak up the sweat, make sure you wash them separately and often. Paolo Soro 9 on your side.